Welcome to Sura Assist, assisting you in your Sura journey. Today, this is part two of my J League Japanese budget player options for the upcoming season that starts at the end of February. Before getting stuck into it, welcome all Sura managers. As usual, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and tap that notification bell to be alerted about any new videos. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Reddit. And for more free Sura content, please check out SuraAssist.com. Links in the description. If you're not signed up to Surrey yet, then sign up using the link below to get a free limited card. As I say, this is part two of the J League budget players that I've selected for your Surrey teams. As always with these selections, always do your own research and this isn't financial advice. Another thing with Japanese players as well is there's not a lot of information in regards to their contracts or their situation with injuries and that sort of thing. So make sure you do take that into consideration when considering any of these players. I've also done previous budget videos on the Argentinian and Brazilian leagues and also the American MLS. So do check back on the videos to check out those budget videos as well. Okay, let's crack on with this part two of the Japanese budget players carrying on with the defenders. The first player I've gone for is Yuta Nakamoto of FC Tokyo. He's 35 but he has got a contract until December 2023. So he is due to be staying at FC Tokyo for next season and he did only sign for FC Tokyo last season. Now he can play on the left and right of the defence. He's also a Japanese international as well. He's still getting minutes for the Japan national side. So don't let his age put you off. And he does mainly play on the left side of defence as well. Now last season he started 10 of the game after his transfer move from Marseille in the French Liga 1. And in those 10 games he had 30 accurate passes, 77% accuracy. And his also his interceptions and tackles look good at 1.4 and 1.3. And his ground duels look decent as well at 2.7. But I'm sure these numbers will improve once he's settled back into Tokyo. And I'm sure he would have done that come the start of next season. So looking at some of his scores on so rare then. So this is the period when he was in the French League of 1. Obviously that's going to be a hard division in the Japanese League. He's got some decent scores here, but I think some of these would have been from substitute appearances, again, for Marseille. So don't take too much notice to these ones. But now he was back in the Japanese league. His scores are improving, as you can see here, including this 88 score here. But I do expect him to crack on now and get some much better scores in the J League for the upcoming season. So his cards are not getting minted at the moment because obviously he was playing for Marseille and transferred to Tokyo midway through the season. So until the new season cards are released, you won't be able to buy any limited cards. But in terms of the rare card on the secondary market, the prices are looking around £78, which looks a decent option for a decent defender. Next defender I've gone for is Takaki Shinti of Avispa Fukuka. 28 year old defender who plays on the left side of defence, very attacking defender, he likes to get forward as you can see from his heat map. He started 27 games last season, he scored one goal in those 27 games and also had three assists as well. His pass numbers could probably be a little bit higher but would let him off because he is an attacking defender. His big chances created was 4 which is good and he's also shown 1.8 interceptions per game and 1.2 tackles per game. So looking at his scores on Sir Rare then, he's got some really good scores when he's playing and he's got some high numbers as well including a 91, 77, 75 there. He did get some good form towards the end of last season as well, so hopefully he can keep his place in the side. In terms of his price, you're looking at around £6 for his limited and £75 for his rare. Another decent option is Ken Matsubara of Yokohama F Mariners. 28 year old defender who plays predominantly on the right side of defence. Played 15 games last season for Yokohama, so he is a bit in and out of the side, but does play most games. He scored one goal, had two assists, and he also averaging one shot per game, so showing decent goal threat for a defender. His accurate passes look good as well, at 39 accurate passes per game, 79% accuracy. In terms of his scores on so rare, some really good numbers here, potentially due to the clean sheets that Yokohama are capable of keeping, and also maybe due to the assists as well that he's chipped in with. You're looking at his limited for around £1.12 and his rare for around £40. A really good option is Katsuya Nagato of now Yokohama Mariners 
of now Yokohama F Mariners. He has recently transferred to them. He is completing the transfer soon. And he is expected to be the first choice left back for Yokohama Mariners next season. And I expect him to have a really good season for them. As you can see from his heat map, he's a very attacking defender. He also takes corners as well for Kashima last season. Whether he will for Yokohama is something to find out. Um, he did start 22 games last season for Kashima. He scored one goal and also had four assists. And he's shown 1.5 key passes per game. And he's also created six big chances as well last season. His interceptions and tackles per game is also looking good at 1.4 and 1.2. In terms of his scores, this graph sure tells you everything you need to know and is showing some fantastic scores and also capable of these higher scores as well. Towards the end of the season he did get lower scores but this was due to some sub appearances. This may be because they knew that he was potentially leaving at the end of the season and they was already trying out other options in that position once Nagato did depart. As I say he is transferring to Yokohama F Mariners and from what I've heard, he is expected to be the first choice left back for them next season. So in terms of his limited card, you can get that for around £3.28. And you can get his rare for 120 This is one where I've actually picked up his rare recently because I did need a Japanese defender. And I've also got a copy of his limited card as well that I won in one of the SO5 tournaments. Another decent option is Kenta Nishizawa, midfielder who plays Shimizu S Pulse. Started 16 of the games last season. It takes corners as well for Shimzu. And he also scored two goals last season and also had three assists. He's also shown good shots per game at one shot per game. He also created four big chances last season and he's averaging 1.1 key passes per game, which is absolutely fantastic. And he finished last season with a bang as well. In the last game, he scored and also got an assist. If we look at his scores on so rare, He's got some really good scores, especially in this period here where he was on form. Then for some reason he did drop to the bench during this period here. Now I don't know why that was, it's potentially due to injury or something like that. Generally if he can get regular starts he is going to get you some fantastic scores like this. And his limited card is available for around £4.73 and is rare around £62. Another good option is Ricky Harakawa of Seresta Saka. Midfielder, who also takes corners as well for Seresta Saka, started 22 games last season, had two goals, also had three assists as well. He's also showing 44 accurate passes per game at 89% accuracy, and 1.6 key passes per game as well, which is absolutely fantastic. He's also chipping in with some interceptions and tackles, and also some duels won as well, which also looks decent. So in terms of his scores, well, the score graph tells everything you need to know. He's had some fantastic scores here, as you can see. Now, he did miss the last couple of games of last season. I don't know why that is. I think it's maybe because he just decided to give him a rest or give him a hairy holiday <laughs> towards the end of last season. But as you can see, he's a consistent regular starter for Seresta Saka. And I expect that to be the case next season. His limited card is going for around £8.12. And his rare card is going for around 232 which looks very cheap for me, to me for a player who's getting these sorts of scores. So that was all the selections this week. If there's any selections there you do like the look of or you're adding any to your shortlist, do let me know in the comment section below. And if you did like this video, then please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and ping that notification bell. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and Reddit. And for more free survey content, please check out Soros.com. Links in the description. If you're not signed up to Surrey yet, then sign up using the link below to get a free limited card. Okay, thanks for watching today and I'll hopefully see you again soon.